Okay then guys, I'm um, back with another video. This is going to be another build series. The last one I did was off the Trojan, but this one's going to be the Land Raider kit. Which is pretty big box actually, is what I think is the same size Battle Force boxes. Yeah, you know, that's the same size as the Battle Force, well, the old Battle Force boxes. When 50 quid was the best thing you would ever get out of GW. That's the most you get out of GW flat at that price. So, we're doing another build series on the Iron Man kit. Um, I am even magnetizing this as I am going to be able to make it the Redeemer and Crusader in the future when I get the money. Um, I was going to buy the Fortral Doors for this, but I got loads of little Black Templar iconography plastic bits lying around and instead of Spending another 12, well, it's gonna be 20 quid by the time I pay the postage. Just to put new doors in this, I can always sit down, take the time, and model my own, which is what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna do this with my instrument. So, let's have a look. See here. I have built one of these before, and it was a long time ago, and I ruined the kit by rushing it. At that time, I didn't really care, just wanted to get it out, paint it, and play with it. But yeah, so it's going to be something to start again, and I am going to take my time on this because I'm actually I'm going to paint the interior too. So, look, what are you getting this? Okay, so I have opened this already, I've had a lot because I got excited about it. So, the first brew you get, you get the top piece by here. This is like the front mantle where you have your, your turret goes here, and then your driver's hatch goes there. You have like this like camera port thing so the driver can actually see when he's going when they're all hatched down. You have this um core computer relay thing which goes on the inside. I can't wait to paint that up. Then for the outside part you have if you see I got the wrong way there. You can see you got a winch, some power outlets, a charge port thing. I think that's power outlets, a charging thing. Some tools and a breaker there on that side. So that's gonna be cool to paint that. Um, you get the rear smokestacks, big bit of flash that is. It's quite an old cast now, so it's gonna start showing its age. But that's the smokestacks with the skull mechanicum symbol on it. Then you have the two doors which go on the inside as well, which are pretty cool. Um, then you've got the base of the floor plate of the floor plate but there so that's the first thing you get um, next brew you get you get the main top half of the land raider you have the what I would presume would be like the gunner assistant hatch there you have this grill work where the engine would be um, the two portals for the um, lights. It's quite a menacing looking tank when you put those lights in. Looks quite scary. Um, then we have the actual engine itself and that's a really nice piece of bit that is. I like that. All the tubing, the wiring, the purity seals all over that. And then you have the back off of the chimney stacks for the engine so the first two um, you get your generic space marine upgrade sprue um, to be honest with you everyone's, everyone's seen that it's the one which comes with all the hatches and la di da di da on it next we got the well uh, snap that in half it on the camera um, we have the gun mantlings by here, um, the blast shields, 
old guards with the guns. Then we have the sensor arrays, the targeting relays, if you want to call them that, whatever suits your fancy. The actual land reader, las cannons from the gun mantling thing for the heavy bolt there, and then you have the side door hatch rings, which are going to be magnetized as well. So that's the first part. That's the first car, the gun sprues. Then you have the two heavy bolters. The like bits which hold the gun on and fix ends. And you have the bottom two by here. More last cannons. The turret mount and the mounting for the heavy bolters on that part. So that's the second sprue. Um, only two to go. So these ones are pretty. These are these are the ones which will take most of the work. Um, we have the outer hull with the air vents and where the doors would go in. By here, just love the look of that bit there. I don't know why does the jaggedness of it on there? So that's the left hand side of the hull. Then you've got the interior and it's really nicely detailed and that's why I'm going to be painting this up so I'll be priming this grey and then picking out all the details and doing lots of um, weathering effects in here see all these little dials there um, don't know what that bit there is for if it's like a leveling gauge or something some sort um, you got the individual seats like but to be honest I think I clearly need to take something more more space on that. Um, don't know that, but like in there, I think that's where like a little shrine sort of thing would be in there. And you have the like I think that's more iconography under there, like a flap for something in there. Some more tube in. So that's the same on. Oh, it's not slightly different on the other one, but the outside. The other outside part is exactly the same. The tracks for the quillers, but you really won't see these as these will be weathered up. You get the actual assault ramp itself. But yeah, I like that. And I like the internal detailing on it as well. But the mesh that this door mounts into that one, and it bonds it together. You have the inside of the top door. Where that would be the nameplate where it would like the name or mark serial number of the land reader. Um, then we have the top outside with the Aquila on it. Some little pooly seals and shit. Um, then we have the headlights there and there. Then we have like the camera viewport for the driver. And then on to the last and final scroll. Uh, I don't know looks like this used to get me really excited and now no, they don't because I just remember how much worth they are. I mean this isn't a bad bike but either it was 45 but I get a discount. So not the outside door. It's the same as the other one. Same old crux turn man artist symbol there. Um, we have one part to the door opening mechanism mechanism. Then we have the two wheels. Which connect to the doors to allow them to open. Um, um, this is the service door. So, this is where the um, winch and like utility frame goes behind. If I remember right. So you have all the air vents and extra little bits on the inside and this is the actual boarding ramp what this is as you've got the internal details for there and you've got the Aquila and some more details as this one drops down this one yeah this one drops down this one you lift up to make it so really in a sense if you look at it this kit only has two access points, one side door, wherever that door goes, and 
the, the assault ramp. Oh well, well, every wee house we get into these, they get launched out and they die, and you know, that's the point of the land reader. Right, so I'm going to go along now and clip off all the parts I'm going to need first, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Thank you. Okay then guys, now I'm back, I've gone ahead and clipped out all the pieces to build the interior of the tank in a grey tone, um, and the doors, and the outside doors, I've primed these black, ready to go on. So, with all of these parts now primed in black, I'm going to create the primary unit for, actually I thought this was pretty good. Is uh, the thing getting the camera shot? Is Model Mates Primer Matte Grey or Light Grey, Matte Spray Grey? And it's gone on pretty nice. So, with all of these parts now, let's just zoom out. Okay, that's me zoomed out. With all these parts now primed in a light grey, as you can see, it's really light and it's not going to be dark on the inside when you go to. Um, look on the inside so all of these parts now primed I'm now going to do a black wash which is going to be one four parts water no three parts water one part wash just to give all the edges a shade I don't want to dull this color down anyway I just want all the edges to be highlighted so it looks more three-dimensional so I'll come back now once I've done that and I'll see you in a second Too long. So, while I wait for the um, wash to dry on these parts, um, I've gone ahead and I've started doing some work on the exterior of the tank. Um, I've put the little camera port in for the driver on this piece, and now this piece is ready for priming. And I've also taken the time now to do the <laughs> magnets for these spots and doors. Now, how I done this was, I took this piece, now with the Land Reader kit, it's already done now, but the two prongs with the bottom and the three prongs with the bottom. What I began by doing was, was putting this into the door and finding where the contact point would be. So on the Land Reader, you kind of want to drill in not the outer rim, but in the middle rim there so i drilled a um hole in there and the easiest way to do it see those mold holes there line them up that so i drilled the hole through that then i placed onto the model then i got a dab of paint and pushed it in there and then i drilled a hole where the magnet would be so that's how i like how i line up my magnets i didn't want to do this on camera because it took me a while I think I was here for about four hours earlier trying to do the magnets. So the next one I'm going to do now is I'm going to do these doors, the normal um, entry doors and the, the entry door on the service hatch on the Land Raider. Ready. So it's going to be the same principle except for the fact these doors are a little bit thinner. I don't know how I'm exactly going to magnetize them on because I've got two mil magnets. So I'll have to have a look, see and see what I can do. So. That's both of the doors now magnetized and these can be these can be primed and painted and the perk of having these magnetized is I can swap out if I want them on the back or the front and I can now swap them out to be a redeemer kit as I do not like the crusader so I've saved myself another 40 quid on a land raider. So I'll come back to you now once I've got the rest of these doors magnetized and I'll show you the update on the parts which are drying because on the what where the wash is drying. So I'll see you in a bit tools. Okay then guys now all the interior part these three parts are done because I've got to do the other sides of them. And I'm done so so look and it's come up what I did off camera as well was I mixed in some thinner um some flicker ink thicker ink after it dried because I wanted to give um, the pieces that black dust grimy stuff 
which like gets like exhaust fumes on it. So I've achieved that pretty well on these pieces. As you see more like the doors where the door where the dust will build up and on these places and it's also shaded very very well. So now with all the pieces I need, the primary pieces, which are gonna be these three pieces, I can now get on with um, painting up the interior. So I'll do this on camera now, just to add a bit more minutes to the playlist. Um, and I'll begin by painting all the computer screens in give it a good shake. Um, um, dark green from blue game color. So, on the top, hopefully, it doesn't burst over like it did last time. Um, the reason why I didn't do all the washing and the uh, magnets on the um, on camera was because I didn't know how well it was going to come out. And now that it does, I will be able to do some videos on it in the future. So, I won't do off camera because that's the complicated stuff that takes me longer to me. Just to do the magnets on the doors took me an hour, an hour and a half. And watching me do that for an hour is really not going to be that fun. So, um, I don't have a blob of it, so I'm going to brush. So, we're going to begin paint by painting this screen by here in the dark green. It may need, actually, yeah, well, it will need two coats. First of all, so let's just keep on keeping this red, or maybe not. We'll see how well that dries, because it's a, it's a, it's a grey base, so it should dry pretty good on these. So, this one done. I don't know if there's any on this one. No, there isn't. Well, that sucks. I should have washed that side first, which I'll do in a minute now. Um, Yeah, I should have that one first. Um, there's like a round screen over there, which can be done as well. So I'll get some more on the brush, and then I'll just end up. Right. And so, there's some pages. So that's them, two them. Um, really, the next thing we want to be doing is getting, well, getting all the metallics done. So, what I've done is oh, it's kind of separated at the moment. It's, I've taken the gun metal from the blade oil paint range and thinned it down. And we're just going to pick up some metal piping on these. So, I think I'll do. All of these ones on the top by here in metal, and and that one there, go over there. So these are some colours for black and the brass colour. So we'll begin by painting this in gun metal. It's gonna take two seconds to do these pipes. So they should. I want to keep all the colours as light as light as possible on the sun mini so it doesn't make the inside so dark when you want to look inside it. Um, okay. There's that. So, they have now been painted up in gunmetal. Next, I'll be playing some uh, black on. So, I'm going to do what I would believe is the exhaust pipes, which would be these two big ones by here. In black, but leaving out the 
um, fixings in the grey. Skip nearly there now. Just got one more to do. This is quite the uh, drink like there. So just need a bit of powder to control. So that's the black done on the pipework there. Um, I think now I'll start having some other colours now. So let's begin by soaking up all that excess bit there now. Just like that. And give that a wash around on the Pigments going on that. Separated on the part. Let that happen. But the next colour we're going to be using is Vallejo Bright Bronze for the brass. Or for the lighter copper colours of the um, vehicle. Now we'll only have a handful of these because I want to keep some grey on there. So we've got some there. Um, I'm going to switch my brush on it to a to the hobby brush from the RP range and mix that up. Right. Some these in. So, the ones we're going to be picking out is going to be that one there and these ones up here in the copper colour. So, This might have to have two coats as well, but this seems going on pretty fine. Yeah, it's gone on in one coat. it for those colours, the copper colour. Um, next thing to mix some black into my gunmetal, just 50-50, just to make a slightly darker metallic colour. Not too, not, not too dark, but dark enough. And um, we're going to pick out these four pipes there on the bottom.
take this off camera a second just to get them to the crannies. You don't really have to go overboard with this, really, because it's a really awkward piece to see when it's placed in. And we'll do this piece in by here as well in the same colour. So we'll let that dry and then we'll come back to that part in a minute. Or we the computer screens. The reason we're doing this part here, showing you guys, is how simple and quick and easy you can do the interior colours of a tank because a lot of people don't paint them. So we'll just go back up like this. So we'll back up back, back computer screen there. And over this one. Right here. Just go hard, or go up, dry, whatever you call it. Um, then we'll, I think we'll do them. We'll start picking out some of the the buttons on the vehicle. Yeah, so unless you really need quite a sort of the colour, so you need a red tone. Definitely going to need a yellow. Um, you're going to want a orange colour as well. So just try and mix this up a bit. That. And well, I'd say that's enough for this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start by picking up all of these. these control panels by here. So we'll do button orange. Um and then we'll do one in green. Now that we've done those in a the top ones in three different colours, we'll do all the ones below it in a red. We'll do what appears to be the space bar in a uh, orange, then the backspace in a yellow. So just add a lot of colour to it when it's finished. So. Um, off, sorry, because it's very watery. That red is actually, I can't put too much water on that. Um, let's fix it in a bit. Okay. 
then we'll go on and doing the buttons on these. So, same principles again, just try and randomize them up a bit. So, you get the idea of randomizing up all the colors, all the buttons. So I'm going to finish off doing all these um, internal computer works, and then we'll come back to like, picking up some of the other details. I'll see you in the, okay, I'm, I'll see you in the next video now, which will be part two, which will be finishing up all the interior, and then getting, and then starting work on the outside, getting all painted. So, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.